in this question under no load condition if the applied voltage to an uh, induction motor is reduced from rated voltage to half of rated voltage what will happen okay so if uh, you change voltages okay speed like you know can be controlled okay now like you know we don't want to like as it is simplified course i don't want to analyze the things and then problems let us take directly problems only okay by varying voltage let me explain the concept first then we'll come back to the question but this is a very beautiful question for example if i try to voltage if i try to control okay so in voltage control input voltage we are going to change okay so what is the like you know our equivalent rth xth x2 r2 by s okay so this is going to be r2 by s and x2 x1 sorry xth and rth this is v1 okay anyway this is vth of course okay anyway we neglected this rth xth and this will become v1 so it will become v1 here and this will become i2 okay because like you know rth xth is neglected because our focus is rotor okay now in this case like you know let me try to write like you know i did not remember any equation okay so without remembering equation in the exam we will be able to do it okay for example if i think of torque developed td equal to m by omega s into pg air gap power or rotor power input what is rotor power input i2 square r2 by s okay so what is i2 v1 divided by this okay so this is going to be m by omega s into v1 square divided by r2 by s square plus x2 square into r2 by s okay now in this like you know we can divide this into low slip region high slip region okay so for example in low slip region low slip region in this is slip is going to be less under that condition slip is less r2 by s is going to be more under that condition let us neglect x2 okay so if i neglect x2 how much will be this td td is going to be td is going to be approximately m by omega s into v1 square divided by means x2 is gone so r2 by s square r2 by s so this is going to be r2 into s okay now let me think of high slip region high slip region in the sense slip is going to be high okay so the moment if slip is high the slip is high in the sense nearer to one for example under that conditions x2 will be more okay slip is going to be high r2 by s is going to be low under that condition td is approximately can be divided into m by omega s into okay v1 square divided by r2 by s is gone x2 square into r2 by s yes now for example if i think of starting torque starting torque this is going to be one okay now let us think of like you know maximum torque pull out torque how much is maximum tm maximum torque equal to m by omega s into v1 square by 2x2 okay now the last one is slip at which maximum torque occurs so slip at which maximum torque occurs is going to be as we discussed previously means omega s is constant okay so when omega s is constant in order to have td maximum pg should be maximum so air gap power should be maximum air gap power in the sense power absorbed by the resistance should be maximum means that apply maximum power transfer theorem this magnitude equal to this magnitude so r2 by smt equal to x2 r smt equal to r2 by x2 now in this let me vary voltages for example like you know if i have this is the torque speed characteristic this is going to be zero and this is going to be ns so this is going to be the speed or if my rotor is rotating at zero speed means that slip is going to be one here slip is going to be zero so this is going to be slip okay now like you know my characteristic for example it is like this okay so where is tem tem is this for example this is given at rated voltages rated voltages okay now let us think of like you know 
let us think of half of the rated voltage just uh, for comparison for example let me draw one more for half of the rated voltage remaining all are same okay so let us think of maximum torque maximum torque okay how much is the maximum torque actually just prior to that we may we solve one question also if voltage is reduced by 10 percent pull out torque is reduced by roughly 20 percent okay now anyway coming to the point here if voltage is reduced to half pull out torque will be reduced by one fourth okay now what about the slip at which maximum torque occurs r2 are you going to vary no x2 are you going to vary no only voltage you are varying so slip at which maximum torque will not change but maximum torque magnitude will be one fourth so slip at which maximum torque will not be changed slip at which maximum torque will not be changed but pull out torque will be reduced to tem by four okay now let us think of starting torque <coughs> okay so if i think of starting torque here okay m by omega s are you varying no you are varying only voltage so v1 you are going to vary x2 you are not going to vary r2 you are not going to vary so t starting directly proportional to supply voltage for example if supply voltage became half because that is the condition we are considering if supply voltage became half starting that will be reduced to one fourth so this is going to be tst for example now this is going to be tst by four okay now if you try to draw the characteristic this is the characteristic okay now as i told you previously also okay repeatedly like you know maximum torque and starting torque should be decided by the machine and operating torque has to be decided by the load for example for example if load torque requirement is this much if load torque requirement is this much now means at rated voltage if you supply rated voltage it is going to rotate at this slip or speed and if you operate at reduced voltage my speed slip is going to be increased slip is going to be increased our speed is going to be reduced okay so what is happening here speed can be controlled or not yes but normally preferably we don't use why because pull out torque is getting reduced and starting torque is getting reduced so for a given torque for a given torque for example what is the condition here for given torque for example let me think of black is s1 okay and blue is s2 s2 okay now for a given torque for a given torque slip is increased okay slip is increasing this is speed can be reduced okay for example if the same question come in exam okay basically how my load torque will be has to be decided by the question for example here i consider constant load torque for a given torque for a given torque like you know how to calculate these slips let us see okay so for example come back to here okay so come back to here okay so in low slip region is going to be running condition okay low slip region slip is going to be less is the running condition okay in running condition for example this is constant for a given torque because torque requirement of the load will have to be decided by the load only you don't have any authority okay in that way for example torque requirement will be constant if you have solid to solid friction like you know metal cutting tools for example you are you connected your uh, induction motor to a tool such that the tool is supposed to cut maybe two metals torque requirement will be constant okay solid to liquid friction torque requirement will be directly proportional to speed maybe solid to air friction like you know ceiling fan okay so our fans and all torque requirement is directly proportional to speed square okay so there are many conditions we are considering for given torque okay so for given torque for example if at all if low torque requirement is constant under that condition this is going to be constant so v1 square s1 should be equal to because td is going to be constant no m omega s r2 you are not changing so v1 square s1 equal to v2 square s2 s2 okay so can you calculate s2 or not yes okay so by this way speed can be reduced speed can be controlled but point to be noted here is let us think of speed regulation okay so if you think of speed regulation okay for the black for example for the black at no load in the sense literally torque requirement is zero torque requirement is zero under that condition my black almost rotated synchronous speed 
बिकॉज आउटपुट फ्रिक्शन तो आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट इट कैन बी वेरी लेस ओके सो मीन्स एट माय न्यू लोड कंडीशन ब्लैक विल ऑलमोस्ट रोटेट इट्स इन कैन स्पीड and blue also because park requirement is not there blue also will start from here only because for both the cases sink and speed will not change what is sink and speed equal to 120 f by p you are changing voltage but not frequency you are changing voltage but not number of poles so sink and speed will not be changed for both the cases so if you observe black okay this is no load for example red is full load so from no load to full load what is the variation is less from no load to full load blue variation is more so means from black to blue speed regulation okay that is the speed from no load to rated load the speed variation is going to be increase okay now one thing try to observe here for example in the given question okay so they are saying like you know voltage is reduced to half how my speed will be can i say speed will be reduced no no because they ask that no load because black and blue both are operating at no load only or not torque requirement is zero so both are operating at no load at no load both the machines will operate both the conditions will operate at synchronous speed only now let us come back to the question okay so in the question see here under no load condition under no load condition okay if the applied voltage to an induction motor is reduced from rated voltage to half the rated value half the rated value about speed about current they have given speed decreases wrong because speed should be constant because no load okay and both speed and stator current decreases gone the speed and stator current remain practically constant whenever you get practically you should be very careful okay and there is negligible change in speed okay but the stator current decreases so means in c option also speed is same in d option also speed is same but we have to think of now about the current okay so in the currents what is there like you know voltage is reduced but what about frequency is same okay so voltage is reduced frequency is same voltage is reduced v by f reduce if v by f reduce operating flux reduce if operating flux is reduced then in order to produce less flux current should be less because no load current only you know under no load conditions so there is negligible change in speed but the stator current should decrease is the right option so option d okay